All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are still hanging out in Amber Heights on Monarch. It sounds like we can get off this planet pretty soon. It sounds like we could just send our little broadcast and be on our way. But there was a little bit of a drama between this Arcanic... Ar 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 not Arcanist. Yeah, Arcanist. Anarchy. Yeah, the Arcanist cultist leader here and Zora... Zora seems like she's trying to do everything sensibly. And every step of the way, I've agreed with Zora's opinion over that guy. And I was just going to leave. But then she got really mad and she was like, come talk to me. And I was like, all right. I kind of want to see where this drama's going. Because uh, I'm, I'm a little bit invested now. You know, Billy looks out for Billy and his companions. But uh, let's just see where this rabbit hole goes. Hey, Captain. I need your help. And we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Not even a little bit. We're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. Wait, are you the pirates? The station's locked up. But one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby rap nest. It's mostly corrupted. But I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. So... Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. So, why is this important? I surely do. But it's not far. And if they died in there, they died with their munitions. We'll need them. Besides, if it's filled with valuables from the aristocrats who lived here, we can pawn them off on sublight and get ourselves ahead on our food budget. They made it illegal to sell to you guys, though. Okay, go to the relay station and see if the code is useful. Anything else? Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. All right. I'll consider it, but no promises. Sure. I'll be here if you change your mind. Wait, did that not give me... That didn't give me... Okay. Okay. I didn't really want to help prepare them for war. I kind of thought she was going to have some scheme to overthrow him, and I was way more interested in that. Well, I'm going to head over to the broadcast center, because that seems like it's what Billy should do. I'll see you guys there. It should just be a fast travel. I'm trying to make it sound like I'm actually walking. Like, I'll even I'll even do a little, do a little walk into the general direction, and then Holly can be like, Well, cut here. Oh my god, what a terrible walk. Ugh, I almost didn't make it. Wait, who the fuck are these guys? You just invited people to hang out here? I thought this was your secure base. What gives, dude? Wait, how do I get back? Oh, the stairs on the left side. Who are these people? This place was completely overrun with marauders, and the guy who was in charge of the broadcast center had himself... Oh, these guys. Yeah, they were down there just kind of looking up here. They were completely fucking useless, actually. So, I'm not too surprised they're just standing up here not doing anything. That actually makes perfect sense. Now, if I can get this broadcast off, this should mean that I can leave this planet. Head on to greener pastures. Our work is done. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. God, this place is confusing. Wait, is this an elevator? What did that just do? <gasps> it is an elevator! Wow, you guys just teleported in here, huh? Pravati got some new mask, dude. She looks scary as shit in her new mask. Wait, you're still... Ah, uh, you're so far away! Finally. Hey, bud. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence. Oh, I know. You need to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Well, MSI and the Iconoclasts are no longer transmitting. Please tell me the data is ready. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. 
But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem? In the end? Well, I didn't kill Does them. Does it matter? Job's done. Hmm, is that so? Well, I helped them both get what they wanted. <laughs> I like that bottom one. You're an information broker. Fucking pay me. <laughs> I helped them both get what they wanted. That's what we did. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fix my problem. Only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. You're literally not going to tell me anything. Phineas Phys Phys doesn't trust many people. How do you hook up with you? What's the story here? And if I'm getting in good with you, why don't you tell me some things? You make it sound so scandalous. It is scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh, oh, apologies. You meant, right. Yes, I brave the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. You should. Uh, <laughs> I bet you have a whole new checklist of shit I need to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. I'll believe it when it's I see simple, it. Truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Okay. But that's it? You're not pulling my leg? Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Much. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. It's one thing after another with all, everyone. Get it done with and be on our way. Providi looks really good in that armor. Okay. I got it. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Dude, what? What? Fuck. I like how the game was self-aware. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like every person you talk to has just a list of things they want you to do before they'll help you at all. Before they'll even entertain your questions. So this had to have just been another 30 things to do, but it seems like we're really just going to push a button. Uh-oh. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Be funny if I said no. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, <gasps> I'm now indebted to him for it. <gasps> now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Wait, what? Don't make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. Bullshit. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Well, he said Why he likes he told us. us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Wow. What in the void blasted hell is that? What do you mean? She looked up. Oh, that's coming straight for us! Okay, it's kind of off to the side. We're okay. Well, that seemed like it went well. Black holes. Did you see that? Yeah, dude. Whose ship was that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers. <gasps> don't cite me on that. The blockade's being broken? Oh, well, pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Sanjar. Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar! What are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? 
Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? <laughs> it's a reunion! Group hug! Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Um, you both are acting like children. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. So we're, we've been given the option here. We go to this crashed ship. Is it showing up on the map? I guess it's way over here. Do we secure stuff for the anarchists? The anti-corporation society that hands out pamphlets? Or do we try to get that group back on the board with the corporation? I'll think about it on the walk over there. We got 400 miles to go. Oh, hello. Here I go. I am a... Here goes nothing. Okay. I don't even have to do anything anymore. This is great. I guess this is what Edgewater is going to look like in a couple of years. This is what you get when a corporation takes a dump and walks off without cleaning it up. There's a Manta Queen here. Let's see how much damage this we can do to her. This is the biggest, baddest lady on the block. This is it. The Manta Queen. Was that what even at the Manta Queen? Oh, it's two of them. The Smash! Shoot! Can we smash again? Is it time to smash? To shred, you say? Oh, they killed that one. <laughs> oh my God, this is actually so overpowered. I am a soul. Dude. We're just set. We just have the best killing party the world's ever seen. All right, I'll see you guys at the building. Or I guess at the ship. There it is. I'm not too sure how to get on board. Oh, I guess the cockpit just broke. Okay. Yeah, they took a bit of a tumble. You go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Does that mean Nyoka yep. wouldn't come with we'll us? Keeping watch here. What? Neither of them are coming on with me? Um, don't they know that Billy possesses no physical ability whatsoever and that they're the backbones of this group? They're literally both just abandoning me right here? Requires gunship captain's key to unlock. I'm assuming we can use this terminal. Oh, yeah. Object, eject his command key. 
easy. Uh, where did it? Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks like a rough landing. I mean, we did see it happen after all. I guess there's no surprises there. I'm uh, just going to go in here by myself, just Captain Billy. No physical prowess at all, Captain Billy coming in here by himself. You know, this is a big ship. This is a big ship, and there's like barely any area on it. It, it must mostly be engines. Well, that's the targeting module. I guess we took that. Oh, no, that's the targeting module. Now, who do we give that to? Give the module to Sanjar or give the module to Graham? I think Graham's a fucking idiot. I mean, I, out of those two options, I think Graham's an idiot. <laughs> I think Sanjar has to be the person I give this to. Even if I don't agree with corporations, giving someone that much... Oh, that's a big boy. Giving someone that much power is not something you should do lightly. Here goes nothing. Yo, nice smash. He's still very full on health. Oh, God. Smash! Oh, he went flying! He went fucking flying! Smash! Shoot! Oh my god, he's so healthy. Is there little ads I can kill? Whenever I kill stuff, it resets our fucking cooldowns. It's amazing. Oh god. There's something happening. I'm gonna heal because it heals my allies too. Well, she's covered in acid. You know, I cannot fucking imagine going through here at level 7. That was originally our plan. You remember that shit? I can't imagine doing that now. It's like everywhere you look, eight fucking things are trying to kill you out here. Look at these guys. They're trying to kill me. I mean, they were asleep in the grass, but they would have tried to kill me. I mean, the way I'm looking at this right now is that I'm giving this thing to the person who actually seems to give a shit about other people. That that cultist leader just kind of wanted to spread his message, and that's all that he cared about. He just wanted that message sprint, like sent out to everybody. His advisor was like, we need medicine. We need food. He didn't seem to give a shit about that. But I actually think Sanjar would make these people's lives a little bit better. That's what I'm going with. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. Really? Because I just walked right in. It was no problem. Could you agree to a truce with the Iconoclasts? They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. I read your reviews, Sanjar. You can't fucking do this alone. Oh, not this again. <laughs> Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. You know, you're good with details, but you could use someone who sees the big picture. The people who wrote your reviews are the same type of people you'll deal with on the board. Oh. Pull your head out of your ass, Sanjar. Don't screw up this opportunity over because of your wounded pride. You know what? We're going with that one. Normally, I'd find this kind of talk from you quite invigorating. But this is a difficult moment for me. Still, perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, 
Who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. Um... Oh, yes! Zora! Work with Zora! Work with Zora! That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. What? Are you fucking serious? One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Oh my god. Fine. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. You'll accept it. That's what you're going to fucking do. You'll accept it. You're not going to see if she's qualified. You're going to listen to Billy. Captain Billy. He's never led you astray. Where exactly am I going? He said they would be in the Cascadia office. Is that way over here? Y yep. So this was the original landing pad that we came to. Well, we should be familiar with it at least. Now this place was fucking crawling. We can handle this. Down they go. With creatures last time we were here. Damn, but we're good. I mean, it seems like most of the big wildlife has kind of moved out. This whole landing area was just like crawling with stuff. Like we couldn't move. Uh, it looks like it's through here, maybe. Well, that's sealed. Oh shit, this isn't that, uh... This isn't that gate that that lady was telling us about, right? We don't need any codes for this, right? Yeah, that's the bridge, and that is sealed. So I guess I have to walk in from the other direction. You cannot fast travel when near hostiles! By hostile, do you mean... A fucking rat in a toilet? Because that's what I think it is. It's in this building! I can't even get in the building! Wait, is this even a building? I just ran all the way around, I think. Okay, there is one door. Hey, are you guys hostile? Yo, this wasn't even a fucking problem. You're trying to tell me these little fucking... These little fucking rats stop me from moving? They might be a little bit bigger than rats. You know what? I'm just trying to sound manly. Let's go to Devil's Peak. 400 miles away, dude! Oh, shit. Another Manta Queen. Let's go, ladies! Here I go. Oh, we got the reset! I almost thought we got the double reset, dude. I thought we almost got the dream. Is it running? It's terrified. That's the last of them. I mean, we did just kill all of its family, like right around this is fun, it. Fun, isn't it? Nice view. I guess they yeah, had. That's pretty scary. And fresh air. Well, and sulfury. And now I'm overweight. Are these things I keep picking up from them? Is that just junk? I don't know where they're going. Oh yeah, it's just just junk. I'm uh. I think I'm gonna drop that on the ground. Well, there's marauders out front to surprise no one. Hey, look out! <laughs> Weren't you supposed to be looking out? Isn't that in your fucking name? Was that a three-man knockdown? I think it was. Let's get some resets here, boys. We already got one, in fact. All right, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're dead. That's the last of them. All right, good work, everybody. I'll just pick up their ammunition. A joint actuator, a movement mechanism from a limb of an auto mechanical. I don't know why I need that, but that feels so specific that I could probably use it for something. We'll just take that with us. I actually don't hate that idea at all. All right, Rizzo's Cascadia. Um, oh, fuck me. Really? Is it, There has to be another way in. 
There has to be another way in than a 90 hack on that. Were you, were you one shot, boy? Oh my goodness. Shiny servo. I don't know. Am I am I over? Wait, did I just? Wait, what's the point of the wall? Oh, a ship crashed into it. I'm so fucking glad I didn't hack that door. Oh my god. <laughs> That's loud. Well, it's just a few more marauders in between us and our objective. How hard could this be? I'm just gonna walk right by. I don't think that's any skin off my back. We'll go ahead and heal for Pravati, but I, mean, I don't think we needed it at all. Hello, gentlemen. Do we have a, a, oh shit, they're actually all dying. That's bad. I thought this was gonna go way better. So, we'll... Okay, okay. Well, our party has, is deceased, boys. A little worried about that. We're just gonna go take cover over here where hopefully there's less enemies. Sorry for the fucking screen freezes. It's driving me crazy. All right, we'll just let them come to me. Oh, that fucking scrap mechanical literally just superman its way over there. Oh, hello. Yeah. Come on, Billy. Come on, Billy. It's your time to shine, Billy. This is all you, Billy. This is all you, Billy. You can do this. They need to know that they can count on you, Billy. I hear bullets behind me. There's this guy running around, though. Billy, knock him down. He's so fast. All right, we'll swap weapons. Nice humane kill. Nothing to worry about. I think there's more coming, though. What? Where are these shots? Hey! He's blinded. He's not going to see anything. I mean, he's fucking dead, too. Knock down. Swap pistols. We'll just gap close on this while he's CC'd. All right, bud. Good fight. Back to the deagle. I think not. Dude, fucking executioner style. My god, Billy's honestly fucking savage, dude. Stop! <laughs> I just would like to remind everyone that this is a character with literally zero points in any kind of offensive or defensive skill. <laughs> this is a fucking basically a charisma character. Just annihilating those guys. The knockdown in this game is so strong. It's such a potent crowd control. Another scrap mechanical outside. Let's see if we can take this one down. Shoot those stairs. You got it, Captain. I think that's why Pravati is such a good companion. Like she has that knockdown not tied to a gun. She can just do that whenever she feels like. Look, look at that. This guy should be scary as fuck. Right. He was just crowd controlled and executed. Like it was nothing. I'm going to take that joint. I don't know if we need it, dude. I don't know if we need it. All right. So we got to read her employee review. I wonder if I can doctor this. I wonder if I could just be like, yeah, dude, she's the best employee. Uh, this place looks like it's all sealed up. Let's go around this way. See if we can find a door. We're in Rizzo's. Fitting machine discovered. You get 500 XP for that? All right, let's read this employee review. Uh, view data. Executive review on who's McCule. Cecil. I feel like I should know who that is, but I don't. Zora Blackwood. Zora is a top-notch sawbones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate large amounts of detailed information to make quick decisions. Her competence and decisiveness have allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to careless carelessness around the, the machinery. Recommended for employee of the month. Who sees so? Cecil's enthusiasm for Rizzo's products is unmatched, and he displays an impressive knowledge for company products. He's exactly the kind of worker we need to keep our storefronts. Do not promote beyond store manager. 
Uh, export the review for Zora to the external data pad. Beautiful. Now we can take that back to the city, submit her employee review, and hopefully get her working on a job that she likes more. I mean, we didn't ask her anything about this. I just, I just want him working with Zora so much more than the other guy. I feel like that's a really happy compromise for me. Yo! Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Well, I already have the module, dude. Relax. I found Zora's review. Here it is. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. No shit, dude. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. If I can put her in charge? Well, how hard could that be? I have a feeling it's going to be harder than I think. But hey, at least we're stopping a war. Is that something Billy would do, though? I don't know. I have a feeling that we're going to have to do more missions for her. To win her over. Just call it a hunch. I mean, she did have a mission waiting for us right now. That I decided not to do. So I wonder if that's going to come back up. We'll go talk to her and we'll see. She's still back here at the clinic. Hey, Captain. Any thoughts on that errand we talked about? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll help. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good, too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the Taros. Welcome back. All right. It looks like we're going to have to do her mission before we're able to bring her to the negotiation tables. Out on the road again, boys.